Summary. The 2024 Jeep Wrangler is an SUV that can go almost any place you want to go if you're the type of person who likes to spend weekends in the great outdoors or maybe you just want to seem like you do. From its military beginnings, Jeep has evolved to become a very comfortable vehicle, with some higher-end models even deserving of the term luxury. That being said, you can't count on the Wrangler giving you a plush ride or massaging your rear while you're driving to the trailhead. Even now, it still has truck-like driving habits. Its steering requires regular correction to keep it traveling straight, and its ride over uneven roads can be startling. The Ford Bronco and the Toyota 4Runner are regarded as more sophisticated choices with comparable capabilities. Nevertheless, compared to its competitors, Jeep has a far wider range of engine choices, such as a plug-in hybrid version and a 470HP V8 reserved for the Rubicon 392 edition. What is 2024 bringing? For 2024, the Wrangler receives a modest visual and technological makeover, including 10 new wheel designs and a redesigned grille. The smaller 5.0 and 7.0-inch screens from the previous year's Wranglers have been replaced by a new one 2.3-inch infotainment display that is standard on all models. The most recent infotainment software from Jeep is also available on the new display, along with wireless, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Over 2,000 trails have maps included in the internal navigation system, and more may be downloaded. For improved call quietness, Jeep has added a more powerful active noise-canceling technology to the interior. Sport and Rubicon X grades now come with the plug-in hybrid for XE powertrain. Hybrid vehicles additionally get an additional 3.6 kWh of battery power for accessories, cost and selection of items for purchase. The 2020 for Jeep Wrangler ranges in price from $33,890 to $93,440, depending on the specification and extras. Although there is a wide range of prices, the entry-level sport trim level is designed for off-road enthusiasts on a budget, while the top-spec Rubicon 392 is meant for enthusiasts of all-terrain speed. We would start with the two-door Wrangler, which has a basic removable cloth top. We like the concept of sticking close to the Wrangler's straightforward routes while keeping the pricing around the low end of the spectrum. We would choose the Willys trim for its extra features, which include 17-inch wheels with 33-inch all-terrain tires, a locking rear differential, LED exterior lighting, and built-in auxiliary switches so you can mount your own accessories like a winch or a light bar, rather than going all out World War II bare bones. In addition, we would specify the 295 pound-feet of torque produced by the 270HP 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which is 35 pound feet more than the normal v6 the eight speed automatic transmission that is standard on the four cylinder engine should provide low stress trail driving performance engine and transmission one of five available powertrain options for the wrangler is a 3.6 liter v6 engine with 285 horsepower that can be mated to either an eight speed automatic transmission or a six speed manual gearbox for seamless shifting only the eight speed automatic transmission is offered with this powertrain an electric motor and optional turbocharged four-cylinder engine combine to give more low and power. Apart from the basic V6 and optional four-cylinder hybrid, the Wrangler may also be outfitted with a 6.4-litre V8, a 375HP plug-in hybrid for XE engine, or a 3.6-litre V6 with a comparable hybrid aid. Because Wranglers are designed to be off-road capable, all models are equipped with standard part-time four-wheel drive, which is operated via a lever located on the center console. During our testing, a base V6 two-door Wrangler Sport with a six-speed manual transmission reached 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds, while an automatic transmission in a well-equipped four-door Sahara model completed the same feat in 6.8 seconds.